Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body is a healing system. It's a, gen- d- a divine, design, divine, divinely designed system. It's a regenerating system. It's a renewing system. And it does its work on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, the longevity products, or skin health questions, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story, we love hearing those, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, you can head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, made with 100% active and functional ingredients, no fillers, no water, no silicon, no oil, no preservatives, no fragrances, no nothing, but active and functional ingredients that your skin can use. And... Most folks will notice results within one or two doses, particularly with our Truth Serum. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I want to say a few more things about the healing process, the generic nature of the healing process, the idea that all chronic illnesses are the result of inflammation and immunity, generic kinds of things, generic biochemistry. I want to say a few more things about that, and then we'll get into some supplements and continue talking about our youth and fertility hormones. But the main point I want to make here is that the body has a generic way that it heals, and it has a generic way that it breaks down. All breakdown, all disease is the result of long-term activation of the defensive response. That is the most powerful idea that I can tell you about when it comes to healing. All our health challenges, all our health challenges are the result of long-term activation of the body's survival nervous system, which tells you something very important. Aside from the fact that it means that we have some control over this, what it says is that our diseases, dis-ease, out of ease, our diseases are in essence a protective response, a defensive response. The body is freaked out. The body's trying to survive, which tells you that to reverse this condition, to reverse disease, the first step is going to be to calm things down, to, to have the defensive nervous system stand down to activate the relaxation nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. And even if we're not overly degenerated, even if we don't have like a diagnosis of some kind, even if we don't have a diagnosis of a disease, even if we're relatively healthy compared to our friends and our family, we're still running on survival energy. The vast majority of us are running on sympathetic nervous system energy, even if we're not sick. Cortisol energy, sugar energy, coffee energy, Mountain Dew energy, caffeine energy. We're running on this type of energy just to get through our day. Caffeine mimics the stress nervous system or the, the, uh, the neurochemistry of the stress nervous system. Sugar does much the same. Even if we're not obviously ill, but we're drinking three or four or five cups of coffee a day, we're burning out. And it's only a matter of time before we do begin to break down. This type of 
sympathetic energy, sympathetic adrenal gland energy cannot help but accelerate the aging and disease process, even if we're healthy. We're heading to the age, we're heading in the aging and disease direction. We're heading in the breakdown direction, in the catabolic direction, the wrong direction. But the good news is, is we can reverse this. Just like we break down when we run on sympathetic energy, when we run on survival energy, whether it's caffeine based or because we're sick, or if it's emotional stresses, the good news is, is that we can reverse that. Cortisol energy, stress energy, sympathetic energy, they're going to they're gonna age us and they're going to lead to disease. But on the other hand, we can slow this thing down. We can slow down aging. We can increase longevity. We can reverse disease. Yes, we can reverse chronic degenerative disease. Chronic degenerative disease is reversible. It's preventable by calming things down, by relaxing, by deep breathing, and all the other strategies we talk about on the bright side. We can use all of these things to ignite the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation nervous system. And all of this is to say that a lot of our illness is the result of non-physical causes. We activate our survival nervous system not only for physical reasons, but for mental and emotional reasons. In fact, I would say the vast majority of our illnesses have at least a component, a, a strictly mental and emotional component. Of course, foods and sugar and nutritional deficiencies and hypoxia or lack of oxygen are all very important. But even when it comes to food, which is maybe the most significant physiologic way that we age ourselves, eating and sugar, food behavior, but even our drives to eat and ingest sugar are rooted in emotional and mental causes from a, a, from a purely physical perspective. We don't need a lot of food and we need very little sugar. So most of our eating behavior is driven for mental and emotional reasons. It's driven from mental and emotional causes. And because most of our suffering comes from eating, physical suffering comes from food. Most of our suffering is driven physiologically as well as psychically from mental and emotional causes. We've created this world of comfort. This is so ironic. We've created this world of comfort that has resulted in mental and emotional suffering. Yes, it's true that we have lots of creature comforts in our culture, but for some reason, all of these creature comforts have resulted in mental and emotional suffering. There's a really cool book called Your Survival Instinct is Killing You by a guy named Mark Schoen. He's a professor at uh, the UCLA School of Medicine. Super cool book, really easy to read, and it explains a lot of what we talk about on this program, by the way. Your survival instinct is killing you. So uh, Professor Schoen is from the UCLA School of Medicine. He describes something called the cozy paradox. And this is the idea that we're not comfortable in a world that is, as he says, increasingly designed for comfort. The cozy paradox is, is what Professor Schoen has labeled this thing. It's based on our discomfort being caused by an expectation of coziness. We don't like being disturbed. We like to know what's coming. We don't like surprises. We like control. Suffering, according to Dr. To Dr. Schoen, has a component of the sense of being out of control. But on the other hand, it's also hardwired us, hardwired into us to be this way. It's hardwired into our brain. We are the descendants of ancestors who survived the African savanna and all the all the angst of being eaten by a tiger or a lion or, or starvation. We survived by being active, being able to turn on, by being able to activate our neurology. We figured out how to address lack of control by kicking in with stress hormones, which allowed us to run or allowed us to forage for food. We developed this neurological survival, survival instinct that turned on our brain chemistry to get us out of life or death situations. But the problem is, because we've got this incredibly well-developed prefrontal cortex, intellect, and an ability to imagine and predict, we make things up. And it's even worse because we've created a culture that needs us to make things up, to be, to be freaked out, to be in survival mode, to activate our disease-inducing sympathetic nervous system. All right, we'll finish up when we come back. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page 
at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com, and we also blog at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can purchase longevity products off the websites, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. And make sure you take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel if you're dealing with acne, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or if you're just interested in getting a little skin peel, your skin will definitely flake with the retinol 5% gel. If you want to help stimulate the production of collagen, if you're dealing with fine lines and wrinkles, retinol 5% gel. There's also a whole bunch of vitamin C in there. No preservatives, no fragrances, no oil, no silicon, no water, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want or doesn't use. Every molecule in our truth treatment products is used by the skin. No waxes, no fillers, no nothing to make a product. It's all there for you. Truth Skin Health Products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so there's so many great non-medical ways, even non-nutritional ways, really, to deal with the disease process, the lack of ease. That's what disease is. It's a lack of ease or a dysfunctional type of ease, Dr. Schoen calls it the, Dr. Mark Schoen from it, writing the book, uh, Your Survival Instinct is Killing You, he calls it the cozy paradox. We've created a culture of ease and we're filled with dis-ease. And even worse, we've got this corporate political system that derives its power by keeping us in fear mode. It wants us scared. If you feel scared after you hear the news or listen to a radio show or read the newspaper or an article or an internet post or whatever, if you feel scared, you haven't done yourself any good, especially if you're sick. Turn off crap that makes you feel scared, that puts you into fear mode. It doesn't do you any good. Why do we need to know that a bridge crashed in Malaysia somewhere or that there's some case of food poisoning in some city halfway across the country. I mean, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but do we need to know all that stuff? What's the purpose of keeping us in this mode of the world is falling apart? The system needs us to feel this way. It's a parasite. It lives by sucking our energy. It derives its life force by stealing ours. It needs us to be scared. It's a virus. It could care less about us as individuals, just like a virus could care less about you as an individual. This is a, a mental virus, an emotional virus, a meme a mind virus that's designed to keep us in sympathetic overdrive and then purports to heal us by going to the doctor. How uh, they, they, uh, they create the dis, dis ease and they sell us the cure. It's a scam of biblical proportions, folks. But the good news is, the bright side is we can hack into our survival chemistry. Just listening to this program, you be, if you take it, if you take it seriously and take these ideas seriously, you've begun to hack into your, hack into your chemistry hacking into your, your, your brain neurology. Just like we can activate the sympathetic survival system with our imagination, as well as our lifestyle choices and the foods we eat, and the exercise we do and the supplements we take, we can likewise trick or hack into the brain. We can hack into the parasympathetic nervous system, and we can tell the brain everything's all right in the world. There's lots of ways to do that. That's really what this is about. That's what, what, everything we've been talking about now for the last, uh, probably since I started doing this program. It's about hacking into the parasympathetic nervous system, telling it everything's okay. That's how nutrition works. Nutrition tells the body and the brain that everything's okay, that it can expend its resources on building because there's plenty of raw materials. That's why supplements are so important. They tell the body, the brain, via the blood, that there's plenty of nutrition, everything's good, it's all right. We're hacking into our biology with our, with our nutrition, or we can hack into our biology with our brain and with our mind. Self-hypnosis, massage, touching, lightly touching your hand. We talked about all these on Friday. Yawning, muscle relaxation. All of these are ways to tell the brain everything is okay. There are ways that we can hack into the parasympathetic nervous system. We can use the mind to counteract the mind. That's called mindfulness, by the way. And it's being recognized more and more by medical professionals that it's serious stuff. It's not just something airy-fairy. It's been in Eastern religions for millennia, mystical Christianity, guys like Meister Eckhart, Ignatius Loyola, Teresa of Avila, they talked, all talked about meditation. There's mystical Judaism, there's mystical Islam, Sufism. 
And these days, these same ideas, meditation, mindfulness, relaxation, are being applied by mainstream Western medicine to lower your blood pressure, to boost your immune system. They call it psychoneuroimmunology. Fancy name that says using your psyche to control your immune system. They're using it for ADHD, for kids who have attention deficit disorder, and adults who have attention deficit disorder, to reduce anxiety and depression, to create a sense of well-being, less emotional reactivity, to physiologically thicken the brain. Yes, relaxation techniques, mindfulness, meditation thickens the brain, but not just any part of the brain. It thickens the part of the brain that's responsible for making good decisions, the prefrontal cortex. And it thickens and strengthens the limbic system, which is the part of the brain that's uh, responsible for emotional flexibility and for empathy and for sympathy and for compassion, self-compassion as well as compassion for others. There's a UCLA uh, 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 a, a department at the UCLA School of Medicine that's a mindfulness department. It's the Mindfulness Awareness Research, Research Center, the MARC. M-A-R-C. And this is where patients and their doctors explore these hippy-dippy ideas, these non-scientific techniques for health. And they teach nurses and doctors and other medical professionals and the general public. Harvard has a center for mindfulness. There's a mindfulness uh, course of uh, curricula at Yale, uh, Yale University School or Yale School of Medicine. Johns Hopkins has courses in mindfulness and and uh, meditation and yoga. Yoga is another great discipline that focuses on mental and emotional conditioning. From the Journal of Neuroscience, mindfulness meditation provides opioid-free pain relief. How do you like that? Cognitive, uh, they, did, they did a study on uh, how many people here? Uh, I can't see how many people, but apparently pain ratings were reduced by 21% in the meditation group that received a placebo. Mindfulness meditation eases chronic lower back pain. That's from the Journal of the American Medical Association. Mindful eating meditation may lead to better metabolic health. That's from the journal Obesity. This is serious business, you guys. I mean, I know this is a nutrition show, but not really. It's kind of a health show, but we focus a lot on nutrition. But if we're going to be serious about health, these are all strategies that we can employ. And this is, this is not just, you know, some kind of cheesy... New age baloney. This is science. Mindfulness meditation, mindfulness approaches, mindful eating. You can reduce pain. You can lose weight. You can improve cognitive function. And then, of course, there's nutritional supplements. Wonderful nutritional supplements. Magnesium, niacin, lithium. Lithium orotate, five milligrams a day if you're trying to relax. Doc Wallach's been talking about lithium for years. There's lithium in the plant-derived minerals. Lithium is actually a prescription drug for bipolar disorder. The same lithium that you get at the health food store, the same lithium that you get in your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients is used as a prescription drug. Likewise, GABA. GABA is really interesting. G-A-B-A, gamma aminobutyric acid. Comes from something called butyric acid, which is made by your gut, made in the gut. Yes, GABA is made by bacteria in the gut, made in the brain, and you can get it as a supplement. There's actually drugs that mimic GABA. Hang on, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number on The Bright Side. If you're interested in checking out the longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. You can ask them about any of the longevity products, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Tell them you want to join the mission. Help me and my mission to educate the world about the importance and power of a good nutritional supplement program and create, create your own mission to help change the world. Create your own mission to make some money. It's a great way to make money helping other people. A lot of folks making a substantial amount of money, you can make a little bit of money doing it. One time $25 investment, you can earn thank you checks for the rest of your life. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and they can tell you all about it. And of course, if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so tomorrow we'll talk about some of these, um, some of these nutritional strategies as well as hormonal strategies for relaxing the body. There's lots of wonderful nutrients that can do it. GABA is one of my all-time favorites. And there's actually a couple of prescription drugs that work with the GABA system. You see advertised on 
on TV for fibromyalgia or for chronic pain or for emotional disorders. These GABAergic type drugs, these GABA imitating drugs, supposedly work with this uh, neurotransmitter in the brain, but you can make your own GABA. You can take GABA as a supplement, but you can make your own GABA using all of these relaxation strategies that we talk about on this program. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Time to hit the phones, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Mariah in Memphis. Welcome to The Bright Side. Good morning, Mariah. What's up? Oh, it's Mariah. Um, let's see. I have rapidly thinning skin, and I was mm. wondering, is there anything that I could take or yes. do yes, 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 for yes. thinning skin, something that could thicken it? Plump yes, in, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Increase collagen, anything. <laughs> all of it, all of it, yes. Uh, here's the thing about the skin. When you see the skin thinning, you can rest assured that the rest of your body is thinning as well. Skin is, okay. made up of two, skin is made up of two layers. Now, it's more than two layers, but for our purposes here, we'll say the skin is made of two layers. It's got a layer that's a surface that's kind of a, a thin layer, and then 90% of it is underneath, and that's made up of connective tissue. So you've got a connective tissue that's sort of like, a, like steak you could think of, like beef. And then you got a coating on top of it. When you say thinning skin, which you typic- what most people mean is the beef is thinning, not the surface. You follow me? It's okay. the stuff underneath. That stuff sure. underneath is, is called connective tissue. That's the collagen. So they're not exactly synonymous, but most of connective tissue is collagen. So we'll just say, co- we'll, we'll just use them as synonyms. Your collagen is thinning, basically. And this is what causes crepey skin. This is what causes the little turkey neck thing that people get sometimes. This is what causes loose, saggy skin on the face, thinning skin as you describe it. It's what causes wrinkles. Pretty much all the cosmetic and superficial and visual signs of aging in the skin are the reflection of a breakdown, a thinning of the connective tissue. So far so good? Yes. Okay. Now, when we're healthy, the connective tissue is building faster than it's breaking down. We're always building and breaking down. But when we're young... Our connective tissue is building faster than it's breaking down. When we're older, the reverse is happening. Now, there's several reasons for that. One is toxicity. That's the, probably the most important reason. Toxicity builds up. The second very important reason is long-term activation of the stress response that we've been talking about. So okay. even though I've been talking about the stress response as regards internal biochemistry, you're not going to build when, you ha- when you're in long-term stress activation. So relaxing the body is one of the best anti-wrinkle strategies you could use. A hot tub is way better than a wrinkle cream. Massage. You know, everything we talked about. I don't wanna, I'm not going to repeat everything, but the idea of relaxing the body, that's the first thing. I know you called to get some supplements, but I, I, it's important that we say this, that we address this, because there's so many people saying, take this pill and that pill and this formula and that formula and this cream and that cream, and they're not telling you the whole story. So we think it's all a matter of a cream. I saw this nasty commercial, and I don't like calling people out on commercials, but this one was nasty for a product called Crepe Erase. Have you seen this? Where they t- I, it it's familiar, evil. Yeah. It's evil to lie <laughs> like this. And if you listen to them, they don't outright lie to you. They use what we call weasel words in the business. Weasel words are words where they don't tell you exactly what's happening. But they just say, oh, you're going to feel so good. You're going to be so happy. They don't tell you what's happening. And they don't tell you the ingredients. And it's got movie stars in there, like Jane Seymour, who are hawking this stuff. Yeah, I have seen it's it. so I have mean. Seen <laughs> it's so mean. Oh, my God. It just, this is why I do this program, to try to counteract some of this satanic evilness. As this is the parasite that I'm telling you about. And she's beautiful, Jane Seymour, product. but she's <clears throat> operating for, like a parasite. Okay, <laughs> anyway, I don't mean to get angry here. So here's what you need to do. So you relax the body, that's the first thing. Now as far as, nutri- and you've got to eliminate sugar and, or reduce sugar intake, anything, any food stressors. Then you want to start to build things, and there's many ways to do it. Protein for one. The tissue is itself made of protein. So you need to be eating more, uh, uh, more accessible protein and more building protein. If you're not a meat eater... How, uh, much, a, how much a day? Do I a half a gram to a gram per pound of body weight is a good starting okay. point. If you're a bodybuilder, you're doing two or three times that amount. But for most of us, half a gram to a gram per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you're looking at 75 to 150 grams of protein. A scoop of protein is about 30 grams or so, a little less probably. So three scoops of protein. You know, but you, you can read it on the package, or an egg is about 8 grams of protein, a piece of chicken is about 20 grams of protein, 25 grams of protein. You can build, put it together yourself. Then you've got to make sure that you're using vitamin C. You can't, take, you can't build connective tissue without vitamin C. In fact, the combination of vitamin C and protein, especially the kind of protein that you find in bones and bone soup, is very, very helpful for building connective tissue. So chicken soup, vitamin C... 
uh, uh, real chicken soup, of course, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which contains lots of vitamin C, glucosamine, the glucogel caps, gelatin. These are all wonderful strategies for building connective tissue. There are minerals that are important. One of the all-time great minerals for building connective tissue is silica, which you have to get as liquid silica gel. Can't really, it's found in seeds and nuts and vegetables, but you really, to make sure you're getting enough silica, you got to supplement with it, in my opinion. You can notice some really neat things for your, for your nails, by the way, when you start to supplement with silica. The B vitamins are important for everything, just for, for energy, and, and all of this requires energy, so making sure you're getting a generous supply of the B vitamins is very important. Same with essential fatty acids, you, your EFAs. That would be the Healthy Start Pack. So make sure you're using protein, vitamin C, the Healthy Start Pack. Uh, of course, if you're not absorbing out of the gut, that's going to be a problem, so you've got to make sure that you're strengthening your gut with probiotics. Uh, you should also be using digestive enzymes with your meals because the enzymes will help you access the protein and the fats from your food. And if you want to throw a couple other things in there, there's some really important building minerals like zinc and copper. And they work together, by the way, both zinc and copper, around 50 milligrams of zinc a day, zinc picolinate, along with 2 milligrams or so of copper a day. You get, of course, some zinc and some copper in with, uh, with your healthy start pack. And then the, your primary building vitamins are vitamin A and vitamin D. Now these require healthy fat absorption. You, you gotta, your liver has to be working correctly and you gotta be making sure that you're using bile, you're making bile and you're making digestive acids and uh, digestive uh, hydrochloric acid in the digestive tract. Uh, but vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day and get some sunshine to get your vitamin D. You can also supplement with a little vitamin D and of course you'll find vitamin D in fish and fish oil too, the ultimate EFAs. So I hope that's uh, not too much information for you there, Mariah, but those, that's a lot of good strategies for building. And by the way, when you build connective tissue in the skin, you'll be building bone, and you'll be building your blood vessels as well. Don't forget the glucogel caps. I, I think I mentioned glucogel that, but don't forget caps. those. The glucogel caps are very helpful. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it, Mariah. Thank you Have so Have a beautiful much. day. All right, take care. Have a good day. Okay, we'll take a break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. I forgot to say to Mariah about uh, topical strategies. Of course, vitamin C and retinoic acid are your two go-to anti-wrinkle active ingredients. If you're using a skincare, anti-aging skincare products that don't feature vitamin C and its fat-soluble form, not the cheapo ascorbic acid form, but the fat-soluble form of vitamin C, as well as the retinol form of vitamin A, you are missing the boat. These are the only two active ingredients that have been shown definitively in real people to actually not just prevent wrinkles and, and their uh, fine lines, but to reverse them. So you ask, where can I get retinol and fat-soluble vitamin C? TruthTreatments.com. That's why I developed the True Skin Health products. I learned about vitamin C and vitamin A in the pharmacy. You know, I was dealing with patients who had burns. I was dealing with patients who had really messed up skin, and I couldn't play around with silly games, with uh, silly over-the-counter strategies, with herbal, herby derby, you know, superficial kinds of. Uh, uh, so-called active materials. I was dealing with sick people, and that's where I learned about the power of vitamin C and vitamin A. And that's also why I developed the Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Only vitamin C and vitamin A have been shown definitively to reverse wrinkles as well as prevent them in real human beings, in vivo, in real life. All right, 844-236-6010. Albert Einstein, 1946. A new type of thinking is essential if mankind is to survive and move towards higher levels. And that's what we're talking about on the bright side. A new way of thinking about the body and thinking about health. Liz in Cincinnati, good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Hi, Ben. Um, I've called in and talked to you before about epilepsy and you okay. recommended fasting and the ketogenic diet. Okay. which I've been working on in the past month, but I had a couple of questions about specifics with that. Okay. Um, with fasting, how, what sort of time periods do you recommend fasting for and how often? And then for the ketogenic diet, it seems like on every website I look at, um, they all have different numbers that they recommend in terms of how many grams of fat to eat per day or what ratio. Yeah, there's no real way to know. Let, let's, let me address both of those. And, uh, hey, yeah. Justin, if you're listening, can you grab the phone, please, Justin? All right, let me address these two, uh, let me address these two subjects, okay? Number one, fasting. How often do you do? I get this all the time, okay? So it's a common question. 
fasting is up to you. It's called intermittent fasting. You want to keep the body guessing. That's the idea. You don't want to fast in a regular way. You want to keep the body guessing. You don't want the body to know when food is coming. You follow me? So when the body doesn't know when food is coming, it has to upregulate its ability to procure food. If it knows when food is coming, it can predict that doesn't do the same thing. You need to know the, you need to have the body guessing. That, this philosophy of having the body guessing is used in workouts. There's a, a system called P90X that takes advantage of this idea of keeping the body and the musculature in surprise. The body works best when it doesn't know where it, when, when its food is coming. So if you want to upregulate health and build muscle and exploit fasting for, for overall well-being, you want to do it intermittently. Once a week, twice a week, uh, maybe twice a week, one week, and then once a week the next week. Mix it up. You follow me, Liz? It doesn't really yeah. matter how often you do it as long as you're mixing things up. You know, does that make sense? You want to keep the body yeah. guessing and as to when food like, is coming. The second like thing about the key, like a time period. 24 to 48 hours, you could do three days. Some, you know, you could do 40 days if you want, but you know, two or three days, one day even. I do one, personally, I do a, a fast maybe... I, uh, one once a week or twice a week, and I do it every week. And then some days I'll, I won't do it. You just keep the body guessing. Don't worry about getting in a routine of fasting. The idea is to do it intermittently. The se- okay, is that all right, Liz? Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Second yeah. thing about the how do you do the ketogenic diet, how much fat do you do? First of all, and I said this a couple times last week, but I'll say it again. The ketogenic diet is not necessarily a high-fat diet. It's a high-relative fat diet. So it's not an excuse to eat a lot of fat, but it's an excuse to get a lot of your calories from fat. And you shouldn't be eating a lot of calories. So you don't want to eat a lot of food. Caloric restriction is always the way to go when it comes to building muscle and and getting healthy. But most of those calories should come from fat. Now, if you do the true ketogenic diet for seizures, it's 90% of your calories from fat. That's the medical ketogenic diet. All right? That's a lot of fat. You can go as low as 60%. I say around 60 to 70%. That's a good place to be. But you'd have to play around with it yourself. Does that answer your question, Liz? Yeah. Okay, so low, low calories, but of those calories, most of them should come from fat. Anywhere from 60 on the low end to 90 on the high end. Medically, they'll go with 90. I go 60 to 70, somewhere in there. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. Good Thank deal. And don't, don't forget the nutrients that go with the ketogenic diet, like vitamin E, for example. The more fat you have, the more vitamin E you need. Thanks so much for your call, Liz. Appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. Let's go to Steve in Kansas City, Missouri. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Steve. Hi, Ben. Hey. What's hey, up? I was wondering if you could speak for a few minutes about birth control and how it affects the biochemistry uh, for, for, for somebody who um, has sympathetic overdrive and some extra issues. Awful stuff. Awful stuff. Awful, awful stuff. Now, obviously, it's convenient, birth control. So if you're using it for birth control, you know, there's a convenience aspect to it that's hard to deny. However, from a hormonal and a physiologic aspect, it is awful. You can't, it, it's on the top 10 list of awful things to do to your body pharmacologically, particularly the estrogen, not even particularly the estrogen, both of them. The way birth control pills work, they're a combination of fake estrogen and fake progesterone. And if you read the package insert, which everybody should be doing when they're on a prescription drug, is read the package insert, you will be horrified by what you read. Fake estrogen in particular is associated with cancer. And, and we're going to talk about estrogen here later on this week because estrogen is a stress hormone, and it's a growth-inducing hormone. And you don't want to be playing around with the, growth, the, the uh, growth chemistry of the body because that's where cancer comes from. And estrogen and cancer, fake estrogen and cancer, and even regular estrogen and cancer uh, are linked, fake estrogen particularly. So the, you can't think, it, it's very difficult to come up with a more toxic way, uh, a, a, a pharmacological way to approach the body than to take birth control pills, particularly because birth control, when they're used for birth control, are given to healthy women. Now, they use birth control pills for acne and for endometriosis and other things, but birth control pills, are, uh, when they're dispensed for birth control, are usually given to people who are fertile and healthy. So sure. you're taking a healthy person and you're poisoning their body so that they can have sex without, without making a baby. There's better ways to do it. As convenient as it is, in my humble opinion, you're playing with fire. I highly, if you are going to take birth control pills, it becomes extremely important that you get on a nutritional supplement program that features zinc and the B vitamins and probably magnesium and vitamin A and vitamin E, really everything. But those in particular can help counteract some of the negative effects of estrogen, of fake estrogen and progesterone. Zinc, uh, magnesium, vitamin A, uh, vitamin E. And uh, what else here? Copper probably would be helpful. And, of course, the B vitamins, particularly vitamin B6. Okay, Steve, does that help you? 
Yeah, thanks, Ben. Okay, good deal. Have a great day, man. Thanks for calling. All right, so let's go to Laura in Ohio. Welcome to the Bright Side, Laura. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good um, morning. Since November, my hair has been tremendously around the crown of my head and my receding hairline. Okay, how um, old are you? 32. Not good, Laura. A couple things. I know. I okay, know. Well, I... And also, also to top with that, though, my scalp has been very dry and flaky. I cannot okay. get rid of it for the life of right. me. Like something's going on. There's something going on. Exactly. Um, first of all, almost guaranteed your hypothyroid. Is, have you noticed any weight changes that you're gaining weight or anything like that over the past uh, five I, years I, or I, ten years or anything? No, I'm very fit. Like I, to look at me, no. I'm very. I'm fit, fit, yes. fit, fit doesn't necessarily mean anything. If you didn't, okay. if you weren't working out, would you be gaining weight around the middle or anything like that? Uh, not through my middle. It mainly goes to my hips and thighs. Hips? Okay. Like okay. Okay. Good. So you're keeping it under control by exercising, and you're young, and you could do that, but you're not going to be able yeah. to do it forever. So right. you're dealing with hypothyroidism, almost guaranteed. Now it's very common. And at the age of 32, typically that means that you've been stressed. There's some kind of burden that's going on in your, in your body and it's been going on for a while. Type A personality, my dear? Absolutely. Okay. There you go. Yeah. There you go. When you've got that type A kind of thing going on, what ends up happening is the adrenal glands take up most of the, do most of the heavy lifting. That's not where you want yeah. the heavy lifting to come from. So did you hear me talking about sympathetic nervous, the sympathetic nervous system and sympathetic overdrive yeah. earlier? Have you been yes. listening to that? Okay. Yes. That's what you're dealing with. When that happens over the course of a long, over the long term, the thyroid will slow down. So you're dealing with hypothyroidism, which is following hyperadrenalism. All right? Mm -hmm. So what you've got to do is you've got to relax the body. You've got to take most of the energy from your body that's, that's being directed into the sympathetic nervous system and the adrenal glands into the relaxation nervous system. So first of all, you've got to relax the body, everything we've been talking about for the last couple of days. Next, you want to get on a, a nutritional supplement program that features relaxing nutrients like magnesium, the B-complex, lithium, all the ones we talked about earlier. Make sure you're eating more protein and more essential fats and less sugar. And by sugar, I'm talking about refined carbohydrates, cereals, and breads in addition to sweets. I'm out of time, Laura. I'd love if you call back because it's a great question. And we'll, yes. I'll be glad to address it if you can call me back tomorrow, but we're just out of time. Okay, and I apologize for that. Thank you so much for your call. All right. I wish we had more time on this program, but we don't. An hour goes by all too fast, and it's time to go. So hope you guys have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, as well as pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And we will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.